as part of JWST's first image release and to comply with its mission of studying how galaxies form and evolve, we saw two shots from two instruments of Stefan's Quintet, a group of dancing galaxies and well, look at how good they are. We actually saw quite a lot from this group of galaxies, so let's not waste any time and jump straight into things. Although if you do want some more background, check out this video here. It has a section all about Stefan's Quintet in it, and it should give you some background. In this first image that combines near-infrared data from NERCAM with mid-infrared data from MIRI, we get an incredible view of the five galaxies. This huge mosaic image is built from over a thousand separate pictures and over 150 million pixels, making it the largest web image yet. Only these four galaxies are actually close together and interacting. We know this one is much closer. You can tell just by how many individual stars we can resolve in the image. And this is where Webb's amazing spatial resolution really shines. Those are individual stars in another galaxy. The point of looking at interacting galaxies like this is to see how galaxies grow and evolve over time. Here, in the group of four, we see young stars forming as gas and dust are smashed together in the mergers, sweeping tails of gas being expelled, and the central merger even shows a huge shockwave through the galaxy as one smashes its way through the others. You can see this in the red and gold features here. We can see this thanks to the awesome MIRI data that cuts through a lot of the dust in the way. Understanding the interactions between these relatively nearby galaxies can teach us how even more distant structures might have formed. We can also see bright foreground stars in our own galaxy here getting in the way. And in the background, we also get another deep field view of distant galaxies for free. This means we can sort of see all of cosmic history, from the most distant galaxies in the background to newer, merging galaxies here triggering star formation in their interactions, and really young, bright stars in our own galaxy too. Now, let's ditch that NERCAM data and just look at the MIRI image. These longer wavelengths cut through more of the dust, but most importantly, just like the old Spitzer infrared image we've seen before, the smiling face remains. Another interesting thing is what I think is a background spiral galaxy, shining through the middle of this galaxy in the MIRI data. Also, notice this top galaxy now seems incredibly bright. That's because it turns out that it's harboring an active galactic nuclei. That's a huge black hole gobbling up lots of material, turning it into a quasar that outshines the entire galaxy. We can't resolve this black hole directly like the Event Horizon Telescope can, but as matter falls into it, it heats up due to friction with other infalling matter, and it glows incredibly brightly. The black hole itself is 24 million times the mass of our sun, and it's putting out the equivalent energy to 40 billion of our sun. Excitingly, we also saw spectra of this quasar from both MIRI itself and the NERSPEC instrument too. Starting with MIRI, which peered through the dust in the galaxy, this top spectrum tells us the composition of all the gases and elements being carried away by the intense radiation. They include iron, argon, neon, sulfur, and oxygen. This bottom spectrum tells us there's a cooler, denser reservoir of gas close to the black hole made of silicates and hydrogen, absorbing light and radiation from the center of the galaxy. NERSPEC also took a spectrum using slightly shorter wavelengths and also saw hydrogen and iron ions being flung out from the center of galaxy in outflows. Finally, the spectra can tell us about how that gas is moving around the black hole. Here, blue means the area is moving towards us and yellow means it's moving away. If you notice the number 200, it doesn't sound that fast initially until you realize it says the gas is moving at 200 kilometers per second. 200 kilometers per second around a violent black hole. No thank you. I hope you've had a bit of fun with this dive into the images of Stefan's Quintet. Subscribe for more and I hope to see you again soon. Until next time, stay safe team. I'll see you soon. Bye!